Hello, today's devotional can be found in Hebrews chapter 13, verse 12. Wherefore, Jesus also, that he might sanctify the people with his own blood, suffered without the gate. All right. So, Christ's blood bought our way out of ignorance and sin, and it also sanctified us against that, the ignorance and sin, so that we were wise and free of sin if we wanted to be. And that we could remember we were children of God and had a right to be beautiful and pure if we so wished. And at a point during the whole process of death, the Spirit of God withdrew itself from Christ so that Christ would truly understand what it was like to feel truly alone so he could truly help us. Because there are times that men tr feel truly alone in despair, suffering, and Christ needed to feel that so he could truly say that he experienced all that we did. And so we were sanctified, we were made clean and have the opportunity to stay clean and become pure and holy and happy and filled with the richness of the Spirit of God by Christ's blood. That blood came from a perfect being and hence we have the opportunity to become perfect and we will if we so choose to embark upon that path. And Christ suffered without the Spirit so that he could know what it was like. Because sinners suffer sometimes without the aid of the Spirit because they have done so much that the Spirit does not feel safe around them until they repent. And I suppose Christ wanted to understand the wicked a little more as well. Even though he himself was not wicked, the wicked don't and will not be able to carry the Spirit with them. For they have chosen not to be in a position where the Spirit feels safe with them. And he, that's why he feels for the wicked, because he himself went without the Spirit at the time of his death. So he understands that having the sp Spirit withdraw from you. It's not very comfortable and it's painful and you're very lonely. We shouldn't be afraid to acknowledge the atonement because Christ shed his blood for us. And he died for us so that we wouldn't have to be without the Spirit of God even in our imperfections. We could repent of our imperfections, and even if the Spirit of God withdrew, the Spirit could come back once we repented and made ourselves a safe place for the Spirit to dwell. We can be made clean through the atonement of Jesus Christ. We can renew ourselves through the atonement. Christ's blood and his body paid for our sins so that we wouldn't be stuck with them. We can let them go. We don't have to hang on to them like security blankets. We can let our sins go and enjoy our lives. Because that's what we are truly meant to do. We are truly meant to make most of our lives and the life we have in the hereafter before judgment. So that we may be able to be rewarded with the best and happiest eternity possible. But it's up to us. Satan will try and downplay the atonement. Even though he was once a cat, he volunteered to execute it. But his style of doing things would have ruined God's plan. For he wanted to make everyone come back and not be able to use their agency and take the glory for himself, even though he did not make the plan. So, Christ was chosen and then Satan and his friends 
reveled in the pre-existence. And of course there was a war in heaven. And Satan and his friends were cast out and they will never benefit from the atonement for they never even made it to mortality. But we made it to mortality so we can be sanctified, cleansed through the atonement if we so choose. We can live beyond our sins and let them go and do better with each new moment that comes. Doesn't that sound wonderful? The past can stay in the past. Today is where you can start fresh. You can't go back and change the past, but you can start fresh from wherever you are. Isn't that wonderful? There's always time for now to start fresh, but we need to make the most of the time that we have. Because someday time will not be ours to spend. And with that said, I love you all so very much. And I say these things humbly in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.